Let's take a look inside the LT Veterinary Physiology Collection by previewing a lesson in the Nervous System module. A module is a collection of lessons related to an overarching topic. We'll look through the first lesson, Overview of the Nervous System. Subsequent lessons in the module are designed to build upon the previous ones. Each introduction page explains the purpose of the lesson and contains a clear list of learning objectives along with a note about why the learning objectives are important in real-life veterinary practice. Right away, students understand how this lesson will help them in their practice. There's also a link to evidence-based study tips to help guide student learning. The first lesson of each module begins by introducing the animal case study for the module. As students learn physiological concepts throughout each lesson, they are asked to apply that newly developed knowledge back to the case study. Placing physiological concepts within a clinical context helps students see the relevance of what they are learning. Here students are introduced to Sally the Terrier, who is suffering from skull fractures and brain damage as a result of a bite wound to the head. Students read about her initial presentation at the clinic, then they're provided with CT scans and guidance on how to read and interpret the medical images using proper anatomical terminology. After this, students are given more information about Sally's appearance, behaviour and vital signs. They're informed of the first steps the veterinarian takes in caring for Sally, as well as their concerns. Students are also given a place to add their case notes, where they can write down important facts, terms or questions they have. These can all be revisited throughout the lesson. Let's move forward in the lesson. On the top of this new page, you can see a notebook icon. This is where students can find their case notes as well as record their general notes. Students can capture information in their own words and organise it in a way that makes sense to them. Each page lists the relevant learning objectives so students know what they will be focusing on and how the page helps them meet these overall learning goals. Then we get into the real substance of the lesson, which is presenting the content that supports these learning objectives. You'll see that blocks of text are divided nicely into small sections, interspersed with interactive questions. This reduces cognitive load, prevents the students from feeling overwhelmed, and helps scaffold and organise the information. Students engage with new information by answering low-stakes interactive questions that test their understanding of the content. Many of these questions are illustration-based, like this one, which also helps students visualise the concept. Presenting information in multiple modalities is a strategy known as dual coding, and research suggests it helps with longer term retention of information. At the end of some lesson pages, students are asked questions about Sally's case in relation to the information they've just encountered. This again makes it quite clear how the topics they are learning about will be relevant in real life scenarios, and it builds overall motivation to engage with the lesson. Most questions will have built-in feedback or model answers, so students can check their progress and assumptions continuously throughout the lesson. On the next page, you can see that the content is laid out in a consistent structure, so students know what to expect. The vast majority of illustrations are specific to veterinary physiology. Again, students will be asked to check their understanding through a variety of interactive question types with supportive feedback. Let's skip ahead to show you how the lesson ends. The knowledge check page provides students with some information on the most effective ways to study, backed by research. Every question here could be linked to a learning objective on the intro page. This page will contain a variety of question types. Here you can see category questions and drag and drop questions. Other knowledge check pages may have label image questions, text questions or multiple choice questions. and each lesson concludes with a simple report page where students can submit their work for grading or just mark it as complete. That is what you can expect to see from an individual lesson in the veterinary physiology collection, but I want to show you how the case study is woven throughout the entire module. Let's go into the final lesson of the nervous system module and see how the case study wraps up. Here's the introduction page with a similar structure to what we've seen previously. Let's advance to the case discussion page. This page gives an overview of Sally's case, then walks students through how a veterinarian would think about and approach the problem, followed by next steps, in this case that was surgery for Sally, and outcomes. 
The final question in the case discussion page is always a question based around giving advice to the owners, often around management, care or expectations of their animal. Here, students practice a potentially difficult discussion with the owner about whether their beloved pet would ever return to normal. So, there you have it. Thanks for looking through these lessons from our veterinary physiology collection. 